Previously on Hell's Kitchen. Today, I'll be testing your palates using ice cream. Yeah. Chef Ramsay put a twist on his classic blind taste test challenge, <laughs> testing the chef's palates with an assortment of ingredients infused into ice cream. Coconut. While Ariel got the red team off to a strong start. Peanut butter. <laughs> Frank was completely shut out. Hazelnut, raw pistachio, <laughs> mint. What? Snickers. Snickers? <laughs> Poor Frank, he's so stupid. And Manda suffered the consequences. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! Danny also registered a big zero for the blue team. Watermelon, marshmallow, what? pepper chef. I guess some type of nut, guess almond. Blast away! <laughs> and with Kristen nailing three out of four. Coffee? Yes. Banana? Wow. Strawberry? The red team. Dominated. <laughs> <laughs> At dinner service. Kristen, jump on the garnish. Yes, chef. With only three chefs in the red kitchen. Pass everything she needs to the risotto. Yes, chef. So you can do the garnish and the risotto at the same time. Kristen. To the window with garnish. Ariel. Two char coming to the pass right now, chef. And Ashley. Walking with my strips. Used great communication. Five minutes on the next new snapper. Garnish is right there for it. That's going with what? And superior cooking. To New York. To deliver an excellent service. Ladies, great job. That was our best service yet. On it. Unfortunately for the blue team. Come on, blue team. Come on. Having an extra person in the kitchen was more of a disadvantage than an advantage. Each space of night is just dumping me shit. Because Jared had basic issues with his New York strips. We're going from overcooked to blue now. Overcooked to blue. This is not good. And Frank had problems all blue night team. with his snapper. Frank, raw fish. It's embarrassing. After an intense deliberation. Instead of answering me, you laughed at me. Right, when you told me, don't give me a fucking attitude. The blue team nominated. Jared. And. Frank. Chef Ramsay eliminated. Frank. Ending his dream of becoming the next head chef at BLT Steak at Bally's in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hal's Kitchen. Good night. I definitely feel like I have somewhat of a target on my back. I mean, the blue team is not happy with me, so they're just trying to get rid of me. Thank you. You all right? I fucked up so bad. You're here, though. You're good. I know. I know. But now there's even more pressure on me because I'm the last dude here. I'm the last man in this house. All I can do is keep doing what I'm doing right now, and I'll be successful. I got a lot riding on this now. Yeah, you do, guy. Good luck. Thanks. New day arrives in Hell's Kitchen, and with it, a special surprise from Chef Ramsay for the final six. This is my mom, and she's always been here for me for through everything. It's definitely good to have her here. Yes! <laughs> oh my gosh! Just to open my eyes and actually see is my sister. It means everything. These people have been driving me nuts here. <laughs> Yay! Oh my god! <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> my dad's definitely my heart, and I've always been a daddy's girl, so it means a lot. <laughs> um. <laughs>
<laughs> oh my god. That mom hug is just everything. To be honest, between you and dad, I'm a lot happier you came than dad. <laughs> Come here, don't cry. Oh, <laughs> I miss them so much. That's all right. What a surprise. <laughs> I see my brother, and the first thing I think of are my kids. Growing up, I wanted to protect him. And now being a mom myself, I would do absolutely anything in the world to protect my kids. All right, it's time to wrap it up, guys. Love you. I love you too, Mom. Love you. I love you too. Love you, Dad. Love you. I have wanted to see my dad forever. He trained me. He taught me everything I know. He taught me to be tough. It's because of him that I'm able to compete in this competition at all. So this is definitely the motivation I needed to push me harder. Let's go. Good morning. Ooh, morning, good morning chef. Chef. There are many moments in Hell's Kitchen that I really enjoy. A great service, crowning a champion, and the moment when we're down to our final six talented chefs. It really makes me happy. Oh, oh. my God. Oh. From the ceiling comes the beautiful black jacket that I want so badly. I want that, chef. I have a very special gift for each of you. <laughs> Families, come on out, please. <laughs> Welcome. Good to see you. I'm so excited. My dad's my BFF. He is going to be so proud to see me in this black jacket. It's so amazing to be here with him. I'm proud of my accomplishments. I know my family is proud of my accomplishments. This is the best day of my life. How are we? Great, thanks. You're wonderful. Thank you so much for making the effort to be here. Thank you. Now, on the count of three, I would like you to open your gift. One. Oh, this is crazy. My dad is going to watch me open the box with the black jacket in it. Two. Three. Let's go. Oh, oh no. What is this? A straight jacket? <laughs> oh, my god. It's a straight jacket? Yeah. Thanks, Chef Ramsay. Not exactly the jackets you were expecting, right? No, no chef. chef. Well, you haven't earned your black jacket just yet. You all know that great chefs need to become great teachers, right? Yes, Chef. For your next challenge, you're going to be teaching your loved ones <laughs> to recreate my stunning Branzino dish. <sighs> oh, God. And you'll be wearing a straight jacket. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Ugh. This is not an easy thing to do. He tried to put me in one when I was about 15. <laughs> I was going to say, my mom, too. <laughs> I'm going to be cursing a lot, Chef. Be prepared for that. Families, uh, help. Get these wonderful straight jackets on, please. Let's go. Uh, Chef, this is mean. Putting Jared in a straight jacket is OK, but <laughs> cooking, I don't know if he told you. <laughs> this is going to be so difficult, especially because my mom hates the kitchen so much. Families, ready? Yes, yes Chef. Chef. Your 30 minutes starts now. Come on, come on. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Mom. Go, 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 go. In today's straight jacket challenge, the chefs must coach their family members to properly execute Chef Ramsay's Branzino dish. First, hit the pan with olive oil. We're going to want to blister these tomatoes. The pair with the most accurate replication will win the challenge for their team. Be really generous with it. More, more olive oil, more olive oil. Whenever my dad and I have to cook for the family, they call it Kristen's Bitchin' Kitchen. <laughs> Because I'm like, I'm always up my dad's ass. Like, no, do it this way, do it that way. So it's second nature for us. Don't use your knife like that. Sorry. <laughs> Score it very lightly, not too deep. There you go. You know, I'm very confident with my dad as my partner. We own multiple restaurants back home. So this should be a walk in the park for him. Get those beans out of that pod. See him? Right here? No, no, no. Dad, the beans. Right oh here? My God. No, the beans. I can't say beans. The beans in those pods. Oh, my goodness. You're killing me. Honey, I can't go any faster. <laughs> 20 minutes to go. Is it on? I don't know. Is it hot? Yes, it's hot. They're fucking with the tomatoes in it. Put huh? them in. Me and my mom have a really love-hate relationship. Put it in? Yes, mom, come on. Act like you've cooked before. Like, I always love her as my mom, but sometimes as a friend, she just annoys the fuck out of me. Leave it. Leave it. Oh, fucking hard. That was so gross. Hard. Put it down and so wash hard. your hands. Why would you eat something off the right. floor? Last 10 minutes, guys. Come check these beans. We need more chicken stock in them. Right in? Yep. Come on, beans. I need you to cook. Get soft. There you go. Perfect. 
Speed up. Oh, my God. Get that skin side down. This right here is an easy task. My sister's a chef. Come on. I think I'm doing all right. You sure? My hand's starting to shake. Skin up. We're going to score that. I feel like I'm missing something. What are you missing? I'm not sure. Careful. Watch those fingers. Yep. Four minutes to go. Don't be afraid to use the whole knife. I am. It's very nerve wracking. I definitely don't feel safe in the kitchen around my mom. That's a perfect length. <gasps> you OK? Yep. Mom, please just don't stab you or me. Now get all those together in a pint container. Grab a bunny. <gasps> Fuck. That was a good one. That was a good one. Oh. Mom, get the beans out and then go to the medic. This is not good. I'm just hoping my mom makes it out with all 10 digits. I'm sorry, No, wait, Mom, it's fine. Mom, it's fine. I don't want you to cut yourself for this. You're going to lose because I cut mom, myself. Mom, who cares? I care. One minute to go. Come on, Dad. Come on, Dad. Final push. You're tasting. OK, hurry up, Mom. Behind, behind, behind. Right, this one. Here, this one. Here, this. You're Nine. fine. You're fine, Mom. Eight. I don't know. In the middle. Just Seven. a little bit. Good. Six. Come on. Come on. Five. Put it up there and clean. Four. Behind, behind, behind. behind. Three. Dad. Two. One, and serve. Red team, blue team, this is still a team challenge. But today, the chef, who was the best teacher, wins the challenge for the team. Uh, let's start off with Errol and her mum, Lauren. Let's go. It's a little nerve-wracking to present my dish to Chef Ramsay, just because I know it doesn't really look at all like his dish look. Thank you. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Visually, it looks a little hectic, a little messy. Skin's nice and crispy. It's good. Any lemon juice at the end? Um, no, he did definitely miss the lemon juice at the end. Um, the question is for me, did anyone do any better? A good job. Well done. Wow. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you, Chef. Excellent. Yeah, I was proud of my mom. Good job, Ma. Next up, Ashley and Dad. Eddie, let's go. Red team, have no fear. Papa Dukes and Ashley, we got this. Here you are, Shaq. Thank you. Now, uh, you have a restaurant. Several. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, what's your favorite? Uh, fuck your monkey. Yeah. Fuck it's me, Asian. <laughs> no, it's, a, it's an funky, Asian fusion funky restaurant. Monkey. OK, I thought you said fuck my monkey. No. <laughs> well, I have said that before. OK. Visually, it looks nice. Thank you. Um, skin, nice and crispy. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Good job. I mean, really good job. Uh, everything's on point. Um, is it the best dish so far? Um, yes, it is. Good job. Both Thank you, Chef. Thank uh, you. Well done. Thank you very really much. Really good job. Thank you. Wow. Good job, Daddy. Daddy, daughter, do well. Uh, next up, Kristen with your father, Kim. Right. Branzino scored beautifully. Crisp. Love it. You hear that? Just beautifully done. Wow, you've absolutely nailed it. I mean, this dish now uh, represents the best in the red team. Good job, both of you. Thank you, amazing. Really, really good. good. Yay, Dad. So that dish is representing the red team. With Kristen securing the top spot on the red team, it's now time to determine who will face off against her from the blue team. Starting with... Jared and his mum, Marty. Let's go. I'm nervous as fuck about this. OK. Nice, nice, nice. Um, how would you describe that? Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Fish is actually cooked. Delicious. Tomatoes, beautifully done. But where are the vegetables? Did you eat them? Uh, no, I cut my fingers cutting them, so... Oh, we left them off. Yeah. They're raw, Chef. Are they raw? Yeah. Yes, sir. That's unfortunate. Thank you. Thank you. Good effort. But missing the vegetables. Manda. And Joe. With Jared and his mom coming up short for the blue. Here you are, Chef. Manda and her brother are hoping their dish will be a worthy challenger to go against the red team's best. Hmm. Fish cooked beautifully. Thanks, Chef. Glistening in the center. Um, the one issue I've got is here. Mm-hmm. These beans are going to be under that. Those beans haven't been cooked mm -hmm. long enough. So yeah. unfortunately, they're hard. But the flavor and the seasonings are on point. Let's see if this is better than Joe. Yes, it is. Thank you very much, Chef. Thank indeed. With Manda and Joe's Branzino edging out Jared for the blue team lead. Next up, Danny. Yes, Chef. And your sister, Keisha. Let's go. 
Danny hopes her Branzino is good enough to top Manda's and face off against Kristen for the win. Well, first of all, visually, uh, it looks lovely. Thank you. I'm completely confident in me and my sister right now. This is the most certain I've been about any challenge in this competition and has zero worries about. Mm. Wow. It's good. It's really good. Thank you, Chef. It is definitely the best dish in the blue team. Good job. Well Thank done. You, Chef. Good job, Danny. With Danny and her sister claiming the top spot for the blue. Kristen, step forward, please. Bring the dish. She now faces Kristen and her dad to see which Branzino dish will take home the victory for their team. Thank you. Uh, this is tough, very tough indeed, because there's one small point separating the dishes. The winning dish belongs to... Kristen and her dad, Kim. Good job. Thank you, sir. Uh, amazing. Thank you, sir. Good job. Seriously. Woo! Red team, congratulations. Your dad plays like yes. <laughs> That was hard. Uh, Danny, little score on the Branzino. That's all. I'm so psyched that we had the best dish out of everybody. That's just something that me and my dad are going to be able to share forever. Thank you, Daddy. Uh, chef, say goodbye to the families. I love you. Good job. Here's a hug from Jack and <laughs> Dylan and Audrey. I love you. Joe, Don't forget take care. to tell them I, I love them. <laughs> well done, red team. Ladies, you are in for an amazing day, a day that's fit for a king or queen, let me tell you. Because all three of you are going to be getting the most amazing royal treatment at a very luxurious spa. Yes! yes, yes. <laughs> that's right. Today is spa day. Yes. Wow. I haven't been to a spa in forever. That's like every chef's dream. I'm so excited. Head to the dorms. Your day of pampering awaits. Thank you, Thank chef. chef. Blue team. Whilst the red team are having a luxurious day in the spa, your day is going to be as far away as you can get from the word luxurious. Because today in Hell's Kitchen is cleaning day. Oh, God. You'll be stripping down the dorms from top to bottom. Because the sous chefs have informed me it is absolutely disgusting in there. It is. Head to the dorms. Again, the blue team just did not pull it together, and it really sucks right now. Good afternoon, ladies. Welcome to Burke Williams. Thank Hi. you. Chef Ramsay has a wonderful day planned out for you, so let's get you started. Okay. Awesome. I like, don't know what to throw away or not in here. There's long hair everywhere. Cleaning up the dorms right now is like cleaning up after children. Come on. What? Mascara. I am one of the cleanest, hands down. And these girls just, they got shit everywhere, everywhere. It's about to make me puke thinking about it. <laughs> all things considered, this place could be a lot worse. Could you imagine we had all guys left? Oh, yeah. What do you mean? Because the guys were definitely a lot messier than the girls were. I completely disagree. <laughs> this is definitely the challenge for us to win. <laughs> we deserve this, but I think the blue team needs a little bit more maintenance. <laughs> I'd love to see Jared get his back waxed. Ew. <laughs> Don't ever say that again. After a relaxing day at the spa, the Red Chefs are back in Hell's Kitchen, and both teams are prepping for tonight's important dinner service. Ladies, let's go. Line up. Blue team, line up, please. Tonight is a big, big night. There are two very unique VIP chef tables tonight. In the Red Kitchen, you'll be cooking for a Grammy recipient. Little John is joining you in Yay! your kitchen for dinner. Nice. Yes. What? Oh, my god. Little John. Yeah. <laughs> OK. All right. Yeah. <laughs> in the Blue Kitchen, all of you will be cooking for a very charismatic TV personality, the most recognized dog psychologist anywhere in the world. Caesar Milan. Caesar Milan. Oh. And I'm a big fan because I have a dog. Me and my best friend, I mean, we could watch him over and over again. We are at a critical point in this competition. It is the last night that you'll be cooking in two separate kitchens. Listen carefully, all of you. The team that completes their side of the dining room first will receive 
your black jackets. It doesn't get any more inspirational than that. What do you all want? Black jacket chef! What are you all fighting for? Black jacket chef! Oh my god, I want that black jacket so bad. This is a three on three race to the finish. Bring it on. Get on your stations. All right, yes, chef. Mourinho. See you, chef. Open house kitchen, please. Subito. The black jackets are within reach for the final six. Just like last time, guys. The fully booked dining room has its share of celebrities who have turned up to taste Chef Ramsay's classic menu. Holy oh, shit, we're here, man. We're in Hell's Kitchen. And to get a glimpse of the action. Oh, I'm so excited. Welcome. Caesar, how are you, sir? How are you, sir? Are you well? Welcome. You guys, first order is coming in. All right. Good, thank you. V, VIP, guys, yes? Steve? Yes, chef. A OK, watch this table, please. Four cup of table one. Two is up to two cup and up. Yes, yes chef. chef. Let's go. Man, I can't wait to eat everything, man. I want to taste it all. How long, Jared? Four minutes out. Four minutes out. I want a black jacket like a fat kid wants cake. Amanda, drop your lobster tail. Lobster tail hurt. I will literally sell my mother for a black jacket. How long on risotto? That's Walking. Long. Yes. Risotto. Carbonara? Carbonara, chef. No, 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 no more salt in there. No, Just no, I'm tasting. Turn it up a bit. Let's go, please. Come on, guys. Nobody lose their voice tonight. Just keep talking. Right side. Carbonara, right side, chef. Salty as fuck. Hey, all of you, come here. Taste that. Come on, quickly. Hup, quick. That's now, Gerard. Come on, guys. Why is there so much salt in there? Seriously? It tastes like seawater. Who seasoned that? I did, chef. I don't get it. Open your eyes, Gerard. Jared, get it together. Come on. This is a race to the finish. Then those first tickets have to get blown out of this kitchen. We can't be having dumb shit come back. No. I need you to start another two. All right, right now. Come on, guys. Yes, chef. Please. Two minutes out to the carbonara. Yes. I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. Right. Come on, let's right. go. Right. While Jared's over-salted carbonara has stalled the blue team's first ticket over in the red kitchen. The women are anxious to cook for their distinguished guest of honor. Butternut squash risotto, bro. That's it, <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hi, how Thank are you? you so much for coming. Enjoy your dinner. Enjoy. Enjoy the show. Hi, ladies. Ladies, get a grip, yeah? Get yes, a grip, yes? Yes, chef. Chef's table. Two cup of hour, one risotto. Yes, yes chef. chef. Holy shit, little John. I'm freaking out. We have to make sure that his food is perfect. How long on that risotto? Two minutes on the first risotto, Kristen. She got a boot on, she broke her foot. I thought she just had a limp. Yeah. I thought she was gangster. <laughs> I thought she was just like, what's up? <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm cooking, I'm hooking you up. Kristen, first resort, I'm going to the window. What about to the wall? <laughs> You're stupid. The pimp with the limp. You're so stupid. Service. Delicious that risotto, yes? Thank you, Chef. With Ariel delivering on the VIP appetizers. The risotto's really good. Two scallops, two risotto. Yes, yes, Chef. The red team is off to a strong start. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen. Blue team, come on, please. Yes, Chef. There's now three of you on there. Come on, guys. Doing a bit of a tiz here. Let's go. Amanda, add peas and mushrooms to that. Peas and mushrooms to that? Yes, that needs to go. Carbonara? Carbonara, Chef. Right side, Chef. Perfect. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Amanda. Go, 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 go. Good job, guys. Hello, Garrett. That's the way it's supposed to be. Oh, my lord. This looks great. With Danny and Amanda helping out. Thank you. No problem, Jerry. We're going to the finish line together. The blue team is now delivering appetizers at a rapid pace. Oh, my god. That looks amazing. You guys, come on. Keep going. Back in the red kitchen with black jackets on their mind. Risotto. Two risottos going to the pass right now. The ladies are out of the gate strong and are pushing out appetizers as well. Grabbing scallops, walking in the pass. Scallops. Good, come put them down and fuck off quickly, let's go. Hey, ladies, two scallops, You've got one with five and one with four. Come on, it's fucking painful. Sorry, Chef. Oh, he's cursing somebody out. Get it together, now, and I mean now. This is intense. It's a bit of this, a bit of that, and now it's beyond a joke. Is it like this in, in every damn restaurant? Chef, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. Kristen should be able to count to five. Oh, der, der, ba, der, der, ba, der. Fuck. Go, please. Quick, 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 quick. With Kristen's quick recovery on scallops, the red team is back on track with their appetizers. 
Well, in the blue kitchen... I know the three count chef table, VVIP. Two snapper, one char. Two snapper, one char, hurt. Chef Ramsay has just called the first order of entrees. Three minutes to the window. Three minutes, hurt. We have no time. For all we know, these girls are flying through their tickets, and we have to be doing the same. Walking char. Behind. Snapper's ready. Mash. I'm going on garnish right now. Hey, blue tick, no, hey, hey, come here. Chef table there, come here. Look at that there. Wow. A lot of stress going on. You see that? It's a hair chef. Just looks fucking gross and nasty and dirty. Like, we are professional in here, and hair and food. Well, it's not Aaron's, it's not mine. It's, it's fucking disgusting. Whose is the long black hair? It's gotta be Amanda's. Back the fuck up off me. Not mine. Nope. My hair's not black. It's brown and red. I never touch them. Oh, God. Fucking hell. Are we giving up? No, no chef. not at all, chef. Jared, it's a black hair. If Chef Ramsay can see it, like, why can't you? We've been waited long enough. Welcome to hell. Mash, Gerard. Left side, chef. Potatoes. Go, please. Thanks to a quick recovery by Jared on garnish. Service, please. The chef's table receives their dinner without further delay. Yes, sir. Finally, they were able to catch the yes. fish and then uh, kill it and then oh, uh, prepare it and then the chart for you. Thank you. Bon appetito. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. Scallops. The ladies are sending out their last table of appetizers. Go, please. Quick. How is your food on your side? Great. The risotto. Very good. And good? No, it's really good. And are now moving on to entrees. Good. Four covers, table 50. Entree to Aldi Char to New York Strip. Yes, yes, chef. Chef. yes, Good, let's go. Next char is dropped. New York's how long? I just need a couple minutes. Count down. Come on, Ashley. Ashley. Two I minutes, can't, chef. Yeah, I can't remind you. My back's turned. I want to hear you. I need two and a half on those strips. Ashley says she's confident on me, but everyone needs to step up our game. The black jacket dinner service, this is a huge dinner service. Garnish for the pass. Walking with char. Strips are in my hand. Steaks, let's go. Ashley, I'm 20 years older than you. Yeah, and I move twice as fast. No, chef. Man. Walk it with two New Yorks. Ashley. Yes, chef. Nicely cooked. Yes, chef. OK, John. Thanks to a team effort by the trio of women, the red team gets out their first ticket of entrees. <laughs> no, no, no. And in the blue kitchen, the entree orders keep coming. Six minutes to window. Two snapper, two New York strip, two Wellington. Yes, chef. Six minutes turn, yes. Let's go. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Let's go. Let's keep pushing. Let's not give up. A minute and a half to the window, two strips to Welling. Hurt. Come on, blue team, speed up a little bit. Hurt. Come on, yes, guys. Chef, slicing Wellings right now. Slicing Welling. Welling, sir. Hurt. I'm ready to go when you are, Danny. Walking Welling right now. Walking two snappers. Chef behind you with snapper. Strip. Blue team. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Just touch that. It's still got white fat in there. It's blue. It's literally cold to the touch. You don't need to be a private investigator to figure this shit out. Oh, come on. And now I've got burnt fish. What's burnt? Well, what's burnt? Oh, OK. Oh, uh, give me them, then. Just give me them. Sorry. What's burnt? Let me show you what's burnt. Yes, Fucking I see it. Hell. I see it. I see it. What's burnt? Seriously? Maybe you need a stronger prescription, young lady. Can you get in control? Look Absolutely, at me. Absolutely, Chef. While the Blue Kitchen attempts to recover from Danny's raw meat and Manda's burned fish. In the Red Kitchen. To New York Strip, to Arctic Char, yes? Yes, yeah, Chef. 30 seconds, I just gotta get the sauce. Ashley, Kristen, and Ariel show no signs of slowing down. Walking with Char. Right behind. Walking with two New Yorks. Food is flying out. Like, it is just everywhere. Ashley. Yes, yeah, Chef. Yeah, perfectly cooked. Thank you, Chef. There's just food everywhere over here. Service, please. There's food flying out over here. Walking, walking. There's food flying out over here. Service. One of the two. <laughs> this is really good. I can see myself in a black jacket at any time. It's right there. Come on, push, girls. While the red team visualizes success, back in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay is looking for Manda and Danny's refires of Snapper, Wellington, New York Strip. Snapper, walking first. I'm bouncing back from this. I do not care what it takes me on. I'm bouncing back. 
because these tickets are going to start flying out of here whether it kills me or not. How long do you need, Daddy? My New York is resting. I have my two wallets right here. Danny, I've got the snap bar. Yes, Hurry, Chef. Danny. Quick, quick, quick. Yes. Keep going, guys. Keep going. I need more time on this. Come on, guys. Fucking hell. That girl better fix this and figure it out right now because I am going to start losing my shit. How long in Wellington? How much time? Give me a time. Danny, I know you don't care, but look. I'd rather drag than to set up cold food. I'm not doing it. I've got no idea what the fuck is going on. Danny's like, I just need more time. I just need more time. How much fucking time? For the 17th time, how long? Chef, I care about what I'm providing. I'm mad that they're not ready. Hey, you can all get pissed off as much as you like. There's a customer suffering. <laughs> that is it. We've been waiting long enough. I'm done. We haven't got our food yet, though. I'm so hungry. Yeah. What is the problem? They're cold They're in the center, cold, chef. chef. I'm trying to get them hot. I'm, I'm not going to serve you anything that's not right. Who took them out? I did, chef. The timing's off. Ah, I'm, like, losing it right now. I'm losing it. Come on, please. Wellington. My Wellington's coming out in one minute. One minute to the window. With the blue team stuck in neutral. One minute out, chef. One minute out. One solid minute. Back in the red kitchen. Keep pushing, girls. Keep pushing. Finish strong. Finish strong. The women continue to fire on all cylinders. I'm going to walk with Snapper. Meet you up there. Walk with Snapper Herd. Walk in with Welly. Vegetable following. Welly garnish for the pass. Pushing entrees out at an impressive rate. Good. Service, please. Are you Wellington? Wow, that looks amazing. Oh my god, this is really nice. And with one very important delivery. Who had the sticky toffee? We, we all just split it. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Oh. Sounds good. Ariel, Ashley, and Kristen complete their service. Ashley, congratulations. Oh my well done. <laughs> congratulations. Well done. Oh hey, ladies, god. immaculate. Absolutely wow. immaculate. Open them up. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. Ah! Good job. This is the most beautiful color I've ever seen. Go, 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 go. No fucking way, no fucking way. Oh my god, it's so good. For once, the red team is in the pantry with the door closed for a good reason. These are so fitted so much better. I'm never taking this black jacket off. While the red team celebrate their promotion, over in the blue kitchen. Blue team, red team have finished, and I think there's got to be a little bit more momentum here, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef. I'm walking right now. Red team's done. Red team's got their black jackets. Well, who's going home tonight? Better fucking not be me. Walking Wally, guys. Bird walking Wally. Come on, girls. Right behind. Service, please. With the blue team's last entrees, finally making it out to their diners. I'm really excited about it. I'm sure it'll be good. Chef Ramsey is less than impressed. Hey, hope you're happy, blue team. Start clearing down. Uh, ladies, congratulations, sir. Uh, Black Jacket team, brilliant. Thank you, Chef. Great job. Blue team, your performance was a nightmare. As you'll soon be working as a team in one kitchen, I want all six of you involved in this very important decision. Decide which two chefs should be put up for elimination. Get out of here. At the end of the day, I don't think anybody has the balls on that team to be in a black jacket. And they should put all three of them up there for all I care. I just want to know from all three of you, like, why you want to be on the black team? Across the board, I've shown that I'm a strong contender, and I push, and I push. And then I got fucking potato sent back for a long black hair in it that wasn't mine. That was not mine. It was impossible to be mine. Jared doesn't want to take responsibility for anything. Jared's trying to, like, save his ass. I think it's bullshit. OK, what about all the burnt bits you had on your fish, the bottom of the fish? The, that was... the one. OK, I fucking think I'm stronger. Like, I'm running back and forth from hot apps to garnish tonight. That's showing hustle. Danny was walking to the oven. Walking. Jared, don't lie. I'm not lying at all. Come on, dude. Man up. You're reaching. You're reaching for anything right now. I'm not going to do this conversation about it. You just told me I'm a fucking liar. No. Why are you yelling and cussing at me? I'm not cussing at you. I... You clearly are lying like right now. I'm not lying right now. No, I, I can't. I can't. I'm not going to have this grown man yelling and screaming at me. I'm not going to plead my case by stooping to their level. I'm not going to sit here and yell and fight. It's just not me. How are you going to run a kitchen if you can't deal with confrontation? 
for me, I don't think it's healthy to be yelling back and forth and this and that. Well, you know, but, it's not, uh, I'm not going to sit here and cuss at you guys and stuff like that. Right. You don't need to cuss, but you can still be passionate. This is just how I deal with these moments. I just don't see the passion. That's my problem. Oh, man. Danny, you're fighting for a black jacket. This stuff doesn't just get handed to you. You have to earn it. I'm over this whole, you know, Danny's better than everybody bullshit. Because let me tell you something, honey, you ain't. So what's the final decision? I think all three of you should go up. That's one service I didn't expect. Chefs, have you reached a group decision? Yes, Chef. Amanda, first nominee and why? Our first nominee was Danny. She tends to shut down when she gets behind instead of being more vocal and being loud. Second nominee and why? It was me, Chef. Do you know why? The girls behind me would trust Jared over myself or Danny. OK, I'm going to go with the group consensus. Amanda, Danny, step forward, please. Amanda. Yes, Chef. Why do you think you deserve a black jacket? I have never given up. I keep going. I keep talking. Every single day, I've gotten better and better at something. And I still have so much to give. Danny. Yes, Chef. Second bad service in a row. Why do you think you deserve a black jacket? My performance tonight, it sucked. And it's embarrassing. But I've never given up. I've worked every single day to see what is it I can do to show you that I want to be here. Every day, I know 100% that I fight. I don't know why it's not being seen. This is hard. My decision is... Jared. Get up here. This is not easy. Yes, I recognize how hard you've worked, and I know how much you care. But I want your jacket. Chef. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. Put that on. Thank you. Good job. Thank you, Chef. I made it into black jackets. I am fucking stoked. Oh, it's really hard. Amanda, take off your jacket. As a matter of fact, Danny, take off your jacket. My decision is... Amanda, listen and listen carefully. You've shown me that you truly care and that cooking is a passion. Absolutely. And it's pretty obvious that you miss your family, and I know how tough that is. Unfortunately, they're going to have to wait a little longer because I still believe in you. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chef. Thank Good job. Thank you very much. Danny, you've been on too much of a downward spiral. I'm not feeling it, I'm not getting it, and the amount of times I've tried to get through, I've come to the end of my patience. Understood. Thank you. It's my pleasure, Chef. Good night. It's shocking to me that I'm leaving right before Black Jack is. I was being vocal, I tried to lead the team, and it just wasn't enough, but I know I can walk anywhere and do any job that, you know, is ahead of me, and my future is very bright. Congratulations to all five of you for joining a very elite group of chefs. This competition is wide open. Congratulations, good night. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Get out of there. Between me and Danny, kind of glad it's me. I know I'm a badass chef. I know I'm a badass mom. I got this. I fought for myself, and I deserve to be here. These girls should watch out, because there's nothing that can stop me, nothing. 
Danny wasn't somebody that any of us felt comfortable working with. Welcome, Amanda and Jared. You fuck us up, you're gone. Danny may be a boxer in her spare time, but her lack of fight tonight proved she just couldn't go the distance. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, each one of you will become my sous chef. With the prize looming. Ashley, let's go. The chef, being Chef Ramsay's sous chef is terrifying. How long on those two snappers, Jared? Will one chef's blind ambition. Snapper walking. I love Ashley to death, but I have to do what I have to do to get ahead. Make him turn on the one he loves the most. Hey, Ashley, my jaw's on the floor. Whoops, sorry. I'm gonna kill you, Jared. You're trying to be fucking sneaky. No, I'm not. I am so furious, like I could break his neck. Hell hath no fury. You are officially dead to me. We are not friends. Ashley. Like a chef scorned. You've officially lost the only friend you have. It's all next time on a cold. You don't say that shit. And unforgiving episode. Send them both home. Of Hell's Kitchen. <laughs>